I recently did a video about where to put your sternum to control your ball flight to make sure you hit a draw every time. And if you use the opposite side of the theory, you could make sure that you hit a fade every time with that simple idea. Do go and check that video out. However, I wanna show you how I think you could connect that idea to the target more often. And then you can pick a target in the distance and you can do something that helps you hit the ball at that target more often. Look at that. So quick recap on the idea of where you put your sternum. Very popular video, go and watch it. I made it specific to the driver, but if your chest is over here, you've got access to the ball that way. So you can come into out to encourage a draw. If you then have your chest over this side of the golf ball pointing left of it, you're then hitting down to that golf ball. So you hit down and across it and you encourage more fade spin and more backspin. But what I want to explain here, in my opinion, is the most important part of the golf swing overall. And the most important part of the golf swing, in my opinion, is that bit, that bit there, and deliberate behavior to help you launch the ball to your target. And while 86% of golfers hit a slice or miss their target to the right hand side, the idea is that you get the club through the ball and point at your target. Think of it as getting through the ball and shaking hands with your target, with your right hand for a right-handed golfer. If I shake hands with something over here, I'm generally going to launch the ball that way. So I go there, the ball goes there. And then if I go there, shake hands with something out to the right hand side, I get the ball starting out to the right hand side. So I am picking and encouraging the direction by how I get through the golf ball. And I say it all the time and I'm sorry, but it's so valuable and people overlook it so much. If I get an absolutely perfect backswing, so say that's absolutely textbook and you cannot get any better than that, imagine. If I get the most perfect backswing, what is the point? What is the point in getting that perfect if we don't do something that propels the ball to a target of your choosing? I would much rather get that backswing completely wrong. There's nothing good about that. I'd much rather get it completely wrong, but get through the ball. Because it's that action and it's that movement that makes the ball go. So I want to get used to getting the club to unfold through to something. And you might want to practice it like you go through and you get the club to point at something over here. And then you get the club to point at something over here. And then you try and get the club to point at something in the middle of those two. Just so you can build in the skill of that movement and build in the skill of throwing the ball to something. So many people that I teach, they go, what should this do? What should that do? Where should that be? Where should this be? Where should this be? Where should this be? Where should this be? Should this be? Ah, they get so stuck in thought inside a box that's not even anything to do with hitting the golf ball relative to their ball flight. If I make changes to someone's golf swing, I make changes to their golf swing to make their ball flight better. If we get the ball sent, if we get the ball flying and it goes too far left, we do something to bring it back. If we get the ball going out to the right hand side, but we get through it, we launch it well. At the top end of our sort of like speed and availability of power, we do something to move it back. But the more people I get moving to the target through the golf ball, something like that, that's a suppressed version of the idea, but it works most of the time. Then the continuation of that is that I get that feeling here and I let the speed pull me through that idea. Wallop. Ah, it's a little bit right, but I'm on the green, I'm not far away. Point at the target. Get your club through the ball, pointing at the target. If you do that and nine times out of 10, it goes 10 yards left, point 10 yards right of the target. So it's adaptable, it's movable. But at least you've got something that gets through the ball, gives you some speed, and gives you some focal point of direction. So many people make it behave this way and it is poisonous to your flight, your direction, your ability. 86% of golfers need to do this.